Metro is talking about cybercrime to expose what's happening here in Nevada and that big ransomware attacks aren't just happening outside the state, but right here as well. Well, cybercrime officers at Metro are trying to stay ahead of online thieves, but the attacks just keep coming, including 21 ransomware attacks in 2020, according to Metro. Hackers hijack data and then ask for a ransom to return it. Ransomware is one of those very unique attacks where if you're a business and you get ransomware, the last thing you want is everyone out there knowing about it. And so it does tend to be a very underreported crime. And not only does ransomware go unreported, but so does a lot of other cyber crime. So listen to what the lieutenant said when I asked what the actual dollar losses might be. I would say it's in the hundreds of millions just for Nevada. Hundreds of millions. That's shocking. Yeah, here. yeah, it, it does sound like a big number, but um, I feel pretty confident saying that. I mean, it's possible it's even in the billions. He told us about one government entity that was hit by a ransomware attack, but didn't want to name it. With this one specific local government entity, it was several months um, and, and hundreds of thousands of dollars um, for them to be able to restore uh, their information. The ransom was $10 million, but the lieutenant couldn't say if any was paid. But the incident came from one employee whose information was compromised, just one employee. Anytime you get an email from somebody that's not somebody that you know or recognize, it's really important that you don't click on any attachments, uh, any links to specific websites, because that's where they're going to deliver what we call the payload. And the lieutenant says don't use a personal flash drive on a work computer. We encourage people never to, to mix their home and work, uh, home and business, because uh, you, know, you might download some file uh, you know, for something you're doing in your personal life, and then now that file has some type of virus embedded in it, and now you take it into work and plug it in for a work file you need to do, and now you've just potentially infected your entire network. And you have to do some explaining to your bosses. So Metro also recommends checking your passwords to see if they've been compromised, which could put your work or personal accounts at risk. So there is one easy way to do that. We used an iPhone. So in your settings, go to passwords, click into it, where you will see security recommendations right there. So this is one of our producer's phones. And we found in three different websites, his password was found to be part of a data leak somewhere, which puts his accounts at risk a breach. Now, a number of other employees in the newsroom checked their phones as well and found much of the same. I checked mine and yeah. uh, it said that I used uh, similar passwords, same passwords on different accounts. So if they hack one account, they could get the other account because it's the same password. Mm. So what yeah. should people be doing then? Just change them? Change right them. Yeah, yeah. You know, the uh, Metro basically explained it uh, like this. So, you know, you go to the dentist twice a year mm -hmm. to, you know, get the uh, check, check everything. You know, do that two times a year with your passwords. They said passwords just aren't forever. You have yeah. to change them. And six months right. is about the, the limit. And, uh, you know, that prevents your accounts from being hacked, especially your bank accounts. And that's where it yeah. counts. You lose that money, it's gone, and it's tough exactly. to get back. Exactly. Yeah, it takes a few minutes to change. You know, it's, mm -hmm. it's a little bit of a hassle, but right? less of a hassle than becoming a victim. Exactly. Thank you so much, Thanks, Joe. Joe.